Lord Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan. Maester. You spoke of judgment, Sir Royland. What judgment is that? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us? I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Then you admit to the crime, in front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan. You must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He's a thief. We can send him to the wall. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers! He's a thief! If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. A thief. Kill him. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. No, please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! My lord, normally it is the lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out. I will carry out the sentence. This is injustice, my lord! That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. 
I can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, gods, no. I can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the Sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? No, I'm not ready just yet. Let me know when you are, my lord. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, 
to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. You're right. Sir Royland seems the man for the job. We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. The way you punished him. How could you be so cruel? I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? I did what I had to, and I stand by it. You talk like it was the only thing to be done. You promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. So My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. 